let us perform an activity to show that the innermost zone of a candle flame consists of unburnt wax vapors. Take a wax candle, fix it on a table and light it with matchstick. Hold a thin glass tube with a pair of tongs and introduce one end of this glass tube in the innermost dark zone of the candle. Now bring a lighted matchstick near the other end of the glass tube. We will see a flame at this end of the glass tube. This can be explained as follows. The innermost zone or the dark zone of candle flame near the heated wick consists of unburnt wax vapors. Some of these wax vapors enter the glass tube and come out from its other end. When we bring a lighted match stick near this end of the glass tube, the wax vapors coming out of it start burning, producing a flame. This activity shows that the innermost zone, that is the dark zone or black zone, of a candle flame consists of unburnt wax vapors. The next activity is to show that the middle zone of candle flame consists of unburnt carbon particles. Light a candle, hold a clean glass plate with the help of a pair of tongs and introduce it in the middle zone or the luminous zone of the candle flame. Hold the glass plate in this position for about 10 seconds. Then remove the glass plate from candle flame and observe it carefully. We will find that a blackish ring is formed on the glass plate. This blackish ring is produced due to the deposition of unburnt carbon particles present in the luminous zone of the candle flame. This activity shows that the partial combustion of wax vapors in the middle zone produces unburnt carbon particles. This activity that we are performing will show that the outermost zone or the non-luminous zone of a flame is the hottest. Take a long copper wire and hold its one end with a pair of tongs. Introduce the other end of the copper wire just inside a burning candle flame so that it is in the outermost zone of the flame. Keep the copper wire in this position for about 30 seconds. We will see that the part of copper wire which is in the outermost zone of the flame becomes red hot. This tells us that the outermost non-luminous zone of the flame has a high temperature. In other words, the non-luminous zone or outermost zone of a flame is the hottest part of a flame.